So come to yesterday's handout regarding the hill slopes. Oh, topic khatam ho chuka hai. Fine. So we'll start with the new topic. But before we start with the new topic, is the handout from the Savindra Singh. That is the hill slopes, the chapter which I had given you. Come to the first page, and the first line. You can use this as an introduction. That is what is a slope. Slope is defined as an angular inclination of terrain between the hill tops and the valley bottoms, resulting from the combination of many factors such as geological structure, climate, vegetation, cover, drainage texture, etc. Any doubt here? Fine. Come to the next paragraph, first line. Two terms are related to the slope: angle of the inclination and inclined surface. So at least there are two things, slope angle and the inclined surface. Inclined surface is nothing but slope and slope angle is whether it is the, what is the dip of a rock, what is the angle it makes. Now understand in which theory does the slope angle remain steep till the end. Out of the three theories we have done, this may slope angle will remain steep till the end. King, LC King, parallel retreat. The slope angle remains steep or constant. Constant that is the steep. It starts from the free scrap and therefore it remains constant. Fine. Come to the next page. We have done this classification of the slope elements. Fine. Agar kabi jake padna hai to kar sakte ho. And come to page number 270. And you can see the diagram. This is an ideal slope A. That is the summital convexity, rectilinear section, and the basal concavity. In the, in the rocks which are having different kind of a resistance, that is in the rocks which are tough rockers, rocks, in the rocks which are hard rocks, we see the B diagram. Vahape jo resistant part hai rock ka, it does not get eroded and what does it form? It forms a free face. Mila? In the A, there is a smooth profile. In the B, summit con convexity, uske baad free face hai. So free face generally konse rocks mein develop hota hai? Resistant rocks mein. Fine. And ultimately, any of this slope may be eroded and after erosion, it will be divided into C, diagram C. Free face, convexity at the top, uske baad free face, uske baad rectilinear slope and uske baad pediment or the basal slope. And can you see properly in the rectilinear slope, see the size of the sediments, kaise kam hote ja rahe, how they are declining as we are going downwards. Upar thode bade sediments hai, niche as we are going, the size of the sediments is declining. Getting it? So, approaches to the slope development, page number 271. Bas pata hona chahi, in case very difficult question comes, vayse nahi puchte isme se, what are the different approaches to the slope development. So there are two types of approaches, come directly to what is given in the bold manner, that is in the bold font jo diya hai, baki ka mat ka dekho. There are two types, slope evolution approach, process form approach. Now before I go further, tell me which is slope evolution approach. Jo hum padte hai, that is process form approach or slope evolution approach. How the slope evolves from youthful to mature to the old age. We don't study which process is acting where. We don't study what is the resistant of the rock and therefore kaisa rock banega. We don't study the process form approach. So can I say Davis is an example of the slope evolution approach? Fine. So slope evolution approach involves the study of historical development of the hill slopes. The first statement, Davisian model of the slope decline comes under this approach. Fine. Davisian model of the slope decline comes under the this approach. 
प्रॉब्लम क्या है इस अप्रोच का कि यू कैन नॉट यू विल जस्ट मेक अ थियरी बट यू आर नॉट वेरी श्योर वेदर योर थियरी इज राइट और रॉन्ग क्योंकि आपको पता ही नहीं था हाउ इज द ओरिजिनल फॉर्म ऑफ द स्लोप यू कैन लुक एट द ग्रेट प्लेन्स यू लुक एट द अरावलीस and after looking at the aravali you will say ki aravali mein mein ek zamane mein there was a convex ek zamane mein there was a free scrap fir it became concave and thus it gave the today's shape but historically development historical construction will not be free of errors there will always be observer bias in the theory observer bias in the theory means it won't be scientifically very true what i observe will may be different from what you observe and every one of us will think hey, this is right that is what is known as observer bias sirf concept samajh lo padhna bhi nahi hai ye but these are the things which will give you a better understanding of the subject come to the process form approach say pehle according to the advocates of the dynamic equilibrium slope evolution approach ka hi last paragraph according to the advocates of the dynamic equilibrium theory time plays no significant role in the slope development because this process is time independent and the slope processes may play an most important part fine a process form process what process is operating and what process is operating will determine the shape matlab form form means shape of a whole slope so if rate of upliftment is greater the shape is convex if the rate of upliftment is slightly declining the slope may be rectilinear if there is no upliftment the slope may be concave kisne kaha tha ye pank ne so process form approach is an example of pank fine mil gaya Inter difference mein ek extra point kis devisian theory of slope development ya devisian concept is an example of an slope evolution historical studies of the landform while the penckian concept ya penck ka concept is an example of the study of process and shape so penck is more closer to the dynamic equilibrium ya systems analysis that is aaj ka jo ye theories hai process form approach is based on the concept i am reading that that there is a direct relationship between the slope types slope forms and geomorphic processes on the slope profile or between the slope types and denudation the intensity of the denudational processes is influenced by structure rock types climatic conditions vegetation relief etc fine next paragraph this approach also suffers from some difficult problems one slope forming processes operates slow so sluggishly that it becomes very difficult to observe measure and record their rates of action slope forming processes operate so sluggishly iska matlab hai you will understand this on page number 281 281 में फर्स्ट रो में दैट इज योर लेफ्ट हैंड साइड के रो में लास्ट पैराग्राफ अल्फ्रेड यंग प्रोसेस रिस्पॉन्स मॉडल एंड उस वो कहता है लास्ट लाइन मिला द इफेक्ट ऑन द रेट ऑफ प्रोसेस बिकम ऑपरेशनल फॉर एंटायर ईयर तो उसको कहता है शॉर्ट टर्म शॉर्ट टर्म इफेक्ट एक साल का इफेक्ट इज शॉर्ट टर्म मिला If the factors are affecting between one thousand to ten thousand years, then it is medium term. While the factors which are affecting for the slopes for ten thousand to one lakh years is the long term effects. So slopes बनने में more than one lakh years are required. Theory बनने में एक साल लगता है. That is what the problem is. Fine, you cannot just understand. the processes aaj aapko dikhega maybe himalayas ke upar there are glaciers which are acting some years back there were mighty rivers which were acting maybe some years back there was no climate in that region and himalayas were near the tropics 
So maybe a heavy rainfall was acting. So you cannot tell which process is acting right now just by making one theory. Isile, whatever the theory we have studied, nobody talked about erosion and weathering. Unhone kaha agar erosion jyada hai ya kam hai, but kaun sa erosion hai, what kind of weathering it is there, kisi ne baat nahi ki. Why? Because you cannot just tell which process is acting in the short duration. It has to be a long duration ka effect. Come back to the old page 272. Up glacier is there, when the glacier is there, the glacier is coming down, eroding the rocks, then the glacier melts, it becomes water, water will erode the rocks, water will dissolve the rocks, water kuch rocks ko sada dega, water kuch rocks ko, ko erode karega, some, some of this will be physical weathering, some of this will be chemical weathering, water may get inter, enter into the cracks of the rocks. It may get freeze, jab a freeze ho jayega, to it will put pressure on the same rocks and the, but that pressure of ice as compared to water will be 125 times greater than that of water. Obviously the rocks then will crack. Uske baad winds chalegi kabhi kabhi during the winter season, they will erode the rocks. So we cannot isolate the processes, that is the second point of the problem of the process form approach. That is, it is difficult to isolate such processes which affect the slopes because not all processes acting on the hill slopes are associated with or concerned with development. Fine, for example, Walter Penck recognized soil creep. Kab kehta hai Penck, soil creep will result into convex rain wash as transporting agents which transport the materials down the slope. That is Walter Peng said, this is the transporting agent, soil creep, rain wash. But are, is the rain water only acting as a transporting agent? No, it will also result into oxidation and weathering of the rocks. Third point, most of the present day slopes do not appear to be the result of present day geomorphic processes, but they represent the relic features of the formerly developed slopes. Matlab is ka where he, the third point is going to, ki we cannot identify what processes are acting today and any process ne rocks banai ki Fine. The fourth, if the concept of association between the denudation process and the slope form is accepted, then there it, sh it should also be accepted that there must be close relationship between the climatic conditions and the slope forms. Matlab, process form does not give that much recognition to the climate. Why it does not give that much recognition to the climate? Because itne zada climatic changes have occurred, so it is not important, fine. So how many types of them are the, how many types of slope analysis ke methods are slope evolution and process form, fine. कुछ नहीं एक कैजुअल रीडिंग देना है बाकी कुछ नहीं वो भी कब एग्जाम से पहले ताकि योर आंसर गेट्स एनरिच्ड सम ऑफ द वर्ड्स यू गेट इट इज नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ आवर सिलेबस फाइन अब हाउ मेनी प्रोसेसेस आर एक्टिंग ओनली वन प्रोसेस एक्ट्स या मोर देन वन प्रोसेस एक्ट्स मोर देन वन प्रोसेस सो द नेक्स्ट पेज सेज First paragraph mein diya hai climatic uniformatism. Kis ne diya hai climatic uniformatism? I'll see King ne. What do you mean by climatic uniformatism? Same climates give rise to the same slopes. Kyun? Ye jo neg Kyun diya usne climatic uniformatism? We have just seen. You cannot identify present day processes will give rise to which shape of the landform. So King ne problem is solved kar diya. Usne kaha koi bhi climate hone do, slopes aise hi banenge. That is what is the climatic uniformitism. So come to the three par third paragraph. There are two approaches to study the process form, monoprocess and polyprocess. Monoprocess matlab, 
एक या दो सिंगल प्रोसेस आइडियल या रियलिटी मोनो प्रोसेस थेरोटिकल आइडियल करने की जरूरत नहीं है ये सब कम टू द पेज नंबर 275 पॉली प्रोसेस क्या लिखा है द पॉली प्रोसेस कंसेप्ट ऑफ द स्टडी मिला पॉली प्रोसेस इज मोर नियर टू द रियलिटी बिकॉज देर इज एवरी लाइवलीहुड दैट मोर देन वन डेन्यूडेशनल प्रोसेस एक्ट ऑन द स्लोप प्रोफाइल बाउलिक रेफ्यूटेड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ वन प्रोसेस वन स्लोप उसने कहा मोर देन वन प्रोसेस एक्ट ऑन द लैंडफॉर्म फाइन सो ये हो सकता है एंटायर थिंग इंट्रोडक्शन That is, अगर एनी थिंग कम्स ऑन द स्लोप एनालिसिस यू कैन जस्ट राइट अ शॉर्ट इंट्रोडक्शन दैट इज स्लोप विच इज एन इंक्लाइंड सर्फेस इज मोस्ट ऑफ द अर्थ लैंडफॉर्म इज मेड अप ऑफ स्लोप देर आर टू वेज ऑफ स्लोप एनालिसिस मोनो प्रोसेस एंड पॉली प्रोसेस द पॉली प्रोसेस इज मोर नियर टू रियलिटी ऑल दिस स्लोप एनालिसिस स्टडी ऑफ स्लोप एनालिसिस कैन बी divided in general into three theories slope decline parallel retreat and the slope replacement that is the next page i will not read the deviska theory it is very easy for us to understand just i want you to look at the diagram on page 277 and the diagram on page 287 and compare this and tell me kya difference hai dono diagrams और देखो फर्स्ट स्टेज में दोनों में भी शिफ्ट वैलीज है फाइन सेकेंड स्टेज में यू शिफ्ट वैलीज बन रही है बट थर्ड बट सेकेंड का दूसरा पार्ट देखो वो यू शिफ्ट वैलीज और कर्व वो निक पॉइंट मतलब द कर्व इन द किंग इज नॉट स्मूथ इट इज समॉट लाइक दिस फाइन रेक्टेलिनियर और वो रेक्टेलिनियर स्लोप ही पीछे पीछे जा रहा है इन डेविस देर इज नो रेक्टेलिनियर स्लोप डेविस में The slope shape is smooth. इसमें ऐसे नहीं है इसमें इट इज दिस इज वॉट इज द पैरल रिट्रीट सो आई एम रीडिंग पेंक फर्स्ट फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ वेरी क्विक इट मे बी मैंशन एट द आउटसाइड दैट वॉल्टर पेंक इज द मोस्ट मिसअंडरस्टूड जियोमोर्फोलॉजिस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड बिकॉज ऑफ यू ऑलरेडी नो क्यू इनकम्प्लीट वर्क ड्यू टू हिज अनटाइमली डेथ हिज ऑब्सक्योर कंपोजिशन एंड डिफिकल्ट जर्मन लैंग्वेज एंड इल डिफाइंड टर्मिनोलॉजी मिसलीडिंग रिव्यू बाय फॉलोअर्स ऑफ डब्ल्यू एम डेविस एंड फॉल्टी ट्रांसलेशन इन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज प्रीवियसली Peng's concept of the slope development was widely understood as parallel retreat but his real concept of slope evolution came into light as slope replacement after english translation of peng's work by check boswell and again by simons the main goal of the peng's morphological system was to find out the mode of development and causes of crustal movement on the basis of exogenetic processes and morphological characteristics in other words peng sought the interpretation of diastrophic history of the regions on the basis of interpretation of the present day landform characteristics understanding this statement or not peng starts peng wanted to understand what was the up rate of upliftment on the basis of present day shape of the landforms that is why diastrophic history of the regions upliftment is a slow or quick process slow process so slow process is known as diastrophism it has two important parts 
manner of action of the processes and deductive model of slope evolution. Fine. Penck has divide, described seven properties of forms and three properties of matter. Kuch karne ki zarurat nahi. Seven properties of forms matlab the seven, seven properties of the shapes and three properties of the processes. Shape kaise hoga will depend on just read the heading. Shape, form matlab shape, properties of form, what will determine the shape is the degree of reduction of regolith. If the regolith is removed fast, it may be rectilinear and concave. If the regolith is not removed fast, it may be convex. That is what is the degree of reduction of regolith. Fine. Because transportation jo hoga, it will be based on kitna fine hai the regolith. If the regolith is fine, then only concave. Mobility of the regolith. Once it is broken, how fast it is removed, transported. <coughs> thickness of the regolith. If the thickness is greater, then the lower slope won't be eroded. If the thickness is less, lower slope will be eroded. So, sabse zada erosion which slope mein hota hai? In the free face by parallel retreat. Why? Because it does not have any regolith. Fine? Exposure of the slope surface. Means, Kitna zada exposed hai, kitna nahi hai. Thickness of the regolith and exposure of the slope surface are correlated points. Rock properties, soft rock or hard rock. Climate, slope angle. Fine? And you see why hum to bohati asan language mein thankfully we write only in 250 words. Otherwise this is what is the Penka theory. Itna complex and niche ka complex diagram dekho. It looks as if it is a systems model. Koi mathematical model hai. Basic premise of the Penck's model. I will just read the basic premise, nine premises. Agar kuch doubt hai to mujhe us point mein poocho. The form of the hill slope is dependent on relative rates of vertical erosion by the streams at the slope base and denudation of the that is removal or transportation of the slope debris. Understanding? Uske liye kaha se most important feature of the hill slope or shape kaha pe hai at the base. Is liye his theory starts from base upwards and we call his model as slope replacement. The form of the hill slopes is not directly controlled by the slope processes because this act as agents of removal of weathered slope debris. The major role of denudational process is to expose the bare rock surface for weathering process. Ye problem hai penka, but again we don't write it to make our answers not complicated. Problem kya hai? Ki he does not give that much importance to the agents of erosion for the purpose of erosion. Uska lagta hai, agents, are erosion, agents of erosion such as river is there only for transportation. River ko importance kon deta as a erosion ka agent? Vertical down cutting, Davis. Iske liye river is just engaged in transportation. Weathering se materials will be eroded and they will be transported. Third point is very important. Retreat of slope unit backward depends upon the gradient of the slope. Steeper gradient facilitates more active retreat than gentle gradient. Matlab jo steep hai gradient, wohaan pe kaun si process honne wali hai? Parallel retreat. Getting it? That is the third point. This point made people think ye, Peng talks about parallel retreat. Usne kabhi word use hi nahi kiya hai. Dekho parallel retreat. Usne ka, retreat depends upon the gradient. The slope retreat occurs in a parallel manner which results in the replacement of the lower slope of slope profile by new unit of gentle gradient. Usne kaha sir slope will go in a parallel manner till the time steep unit is replaced by gentle unit. Kahi hai word parallel retreat theory. Kahi nahi hai. Usne kaha retreat hoga. Upar ke part ka parallel manner mein hoga 
till the time gentle gradient comes and once the gentle gradient comes flattening of the slopes always takes place from below upwards that is what is the slope replacement now remember fifth jo point hai this can come as a question flattening of the slopes always takes place from below upwards elaborate whose theory you have to write tank slope replacement getting it ye niche se upar form of the valley side slopes of the streams depends upon three rates of stream erosion accelerating rate ye humne likha hai answer mein convex deaccelerating rate of erosion concave and constant rate of erosion rectilinear seventh we have written this as his negative point that is there is uniform rate of weathering on the rocks of the slopes fine so this no need of eighth and ninth point fine bas itna hi karna hai hame iske isme se getting it agar kahin padhna hai to come to page number 282 so diagram a a dash a to b b dash to c c dash to d d dash e e dash f f dash ye kya hai scrap free scrap it is going backwards in a parallel manner but can you see niche ki line upar ja rahi hai what does it mean it means debris is getting collected and the constant slope is being formed once this constant slope is formed fir baad mein it will get eroded a a dash was the first free face it was eroded debris got collected at the base so isliye the height of the slope reduced isliye wo line upar chali gayi then it becomes b b dash understand the diagram understanding once the parallel retreat is stopping niche fir you can see in the diagram b what is happening constant slope is getting eroded and ultimately slope replacement is occurring so in the page 282 jo diagram c hai never make that in the exam because actually a pen ki theory nahi hai pe pen ka diagram nahi hai isliye i have not made made you make this diagram I, we have done some other diagram this is modified by small if after getting inspiration from peng but c is not peng c is typical devis down wasting so 282 right hand row second paragraph right hand row second paragraph in fact the parallel retreat of the slope segments except the lower segment ultimately results into development of the कॉन्केव स्लोप प्रोफाइल अंडरस्टैंडिंग सिर्फ अपर के सेगमेंट का पैरल रिट्रीट नीचे का नहीं हो रहा है पैरल रिट्रीट अगर दोनों साइड से हो रहा है तो पीक बचेगा ही नहीं दैट इज द सेकेंड लाइन इफ द पैरल रिट्रीट इज ऑकरिंग ऑन बोथ द साइड ऑफ इंटरफ्लू इंटरफ्लू मतलब माउंटेन और वॉटर डिवाइड then after the removal of free face or steep segment on both the sides of the interflue is subjected to down wasting and thus there is a successive lowering of altitude from a to b b to c c to d that is the figure c and consequent slope flattening results into the slope decline and ye case study humne likh li hai in our own language niche wali fine wood model karne ki zarurat nahi it's very easy but this diagram we have done this free face uske baad constant slope which has two parts upper part is denudational lower ka part is aggradational then the river will get powerful and it will remove the dotted lines that is the sediments kal kiya hai humne ye step by step and thus the 
three elements of the slope will be seen once the sediments are removed. Waning slope, constant slope and waxing slope. Right? And ultimately it will reduce in height. Any doubts here? Hill slope theory of L.C. King. Come to page 287. He maintains that full development of the slope elements depends upon local conditions. The evolution of the hill slope in, in, is in fact related to his concept of pediplanation. According to King, pediplane formation is the result of twin process that is the scrap retreat and pedimentation. In the initial stages of hill slope development, the scrap face experiences parallel retreat due to back wasting caused by weathering of the exposed rock. Fine. This back wasting, answer is caused by which process? By vertical down cutting. That is the Devisian process. In the youthful stage, vertical down cutting operates. King is not given good in Savindra Singh. The parallel retreat of the scrap controls the evolution of entire hill slope. Pura, ka, pura slope kis kon control karta hai? The concept of parallel retreat. Isle his theory is known as parallel retreat ka theory. Penck ne kaha, the development of the slope starts from base. Isle his theory is slope replacement. According to the king, the debris slope just below the scrap or the free face does not extend upslope and hence is neither capable of obscuring or destroying the free face element. In simple words, mein ye meaning hai, once the free face is broken, the debris which is collected at the bottom, wo tak upar nahi jayegi. and because wo upar nahi jayegi, therefore it will have no effect on the free face. This debris will ke keep on getting collected, collected and therefore free aise ho jayega slope once the slope becomes here ye aise hoga once the slope comes here ye aise hoga ye aise hoga and therefore parallel retreat see uski theory of parallel retreat to be true free face has to be present till the end to usne kaha keh diya ki debris ka koi farak nahi padega free face getting it It means that there is a balance between the supply of debris up the slope and removal of debris down the slope. The gradual parallel retreat of the free face and the rectilinear elements. Ye underline karo. The gradual parallel retreat of free face and the rectilinear elements. Matlab kya ho hai? Dono are getting retreated in a parallel manner. We have written this statement also in our answer. results into the formation of pediment of concave plan at the base. As the parallel retreat of the free face and the debris slope continues, their length decreases and pediment, matlab, foot of a mountain, which is made from eroded rock material, extends upslope at the cost of rectilinear and free face elements. This means that as the process of erosion will continue, Jo debris hai, wo bad jayegi and free face and rectilinear face gaib ho jayega. Fine? Wo kehta hai, us debris ko jo concave hai as pediment. In the end, all the pediments will join together and it will form one big pedi plane. Ultimately, the upper slope elements, mainly the free face disappear and pediments extend up to the hill crest. Thus, an extensive erosion surface of concave slope is formed. This surface is called pedi plane, which is a product of coalescence of the several pediments. Getting it? So, this is the book language from the textbook. Fine. Obviously, our language is a bit easier. 
and it is built in points. So follow uska language. But kabhi bhi doubt hua to ye sab padke lena. Have you understood everything regarding the slopes? Fine. Can you answer any question on the slope analysis then? So you take one question from past year only. I am reading the question, just tell me can you say yes or no. Explain how Bosche and Hadelhang led to the theory of slope replacement. Can you write? 400 words, 30 marks. Fine, Peng. Pehle batana hai, focus kis pe hai? How, what is the Bosch-Jungen, what is the Heidelhangen? Fine? In explaining the concept of pediplanation, Davis combined the ideas of, King combined the ideas of Davis, Penck and Wood with his own. Elaborate. Can you write it? At least a structure hai, kaun si kaun si kaha se idea li hai? So, Davis se kya liya hai? Vertical down cutting and stages. Stages. Rapid upliftment. Penck se kya liya hai? Parallel retreat of the scrap. Khud ki kya idea lagai hai Penck mein? He parallel retreat of even rectilinear slope and down the slope. Peng ne kaha tha sif upper part ka parallel retreat hoga. King ne kaha pure slope ka parallel retreat hone wala hai. Wood se kya liya hai? Elements of the slope. Yes, yes, fragments mein karna hai. Now take this question. The knowledge of the knowledge of slope analysis has limited field application. The knowledge of slope analysis has limited field application in slope management. Field application in slope management. Explain. 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 So, Joe, this question for Kali Kuli. Now, what I'm slope analysis here. Tell me what is the demand of the question? What is the slope analysis? You have to describe first. Kitne applications are kya kya models. Fine. What do you mean by slope management? Slope management means to stop the landslides, rock falls, etc. Fine? That is to avoid slope failure, to avoid landslide like concept. With the theory padli, Davis bhi padliya, Peng bhi padliya, King bhi padliya. Uske baad can you stop landslides? Nahin. Landslides rokne ke liye you should know how much rainfall is going to occur. What is the structure of the rocks? What is the steepness? Fine? Free scrap pe ye lena de nahi nahi hume ki vertical down cutting hoga ya parallel retreat hoga. Hume sirf logo ki jaan bachani hai niche. Kyunki kuch bhi hone do debris to niche hi aane wala hai. Fine? So slope management is totally different thing. That is applied geomorphology. 
एंड स्लोप एनालिसिस इज हाउ द स्लोप आर फॉर्म स्लोप कैसे भी फॉर्म होने दो इट इट कैन दिस स्लोप एनालिसिस कैनॉट टॉक अबाउट द प्रेजेंट डे क्लाइमेट इट कैनॉट दे डू नॉट टॉक अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द रॉक्स दे डू नॉट टॉक वॉट हैपन्स इन द केस ऑफ फेलियर ऑफ द स्लोप so because they do not talk what happens in the failure of the slopes we can just conclude from them that the slope failure is most dominant on convex and free face and hence this are the part of the slopes which need to be managed properly hence the slope analysis talks about the evolution of the slopes it has nothing to do in the practical world where stopping the landslide is an important thing and hence we can say it is a limited application yes slope management ke liye aapko kya kya dekhna padega ki what is the super incumbent load kitne mining industries hai kitne hotels hai kitna sa rasta kaisa hai what is the climate what is the vegetation cover कितना रेट ऑफ इरोजन है विच इज डिटरमाइंड बाय द वेजिटेशन कवर राइट सो आज ये आंसर नहीं लिख पाओगे कल प्रिंटेड नोट्स मिलने के बाद ये आंसर लिख पाओगे क्योंकि आपको वेदरिंग इरोजन का प्रिंटेड नोट्स कल मिल रहा है इट दे वर सपोज टू यू आर सपोज टू गेट इट टुडे बट वो जेरोक्स वाला आ चुका था ऑलरेडी सो यू गो होम Think on this and पहले लिखने की कोशिश करो then I will tell you how the approach of the answer will be. Very small topic of our syllabus: erosion surfaces. See this answer which I have given you. You can write in your own language. You can be creative because this answer का कोई geographical ऐसा solution नहीं है मतलब it is not scientific like theories की यही points आने चाहिए. Answer should look good at the end. So आज भी आप लिख सकते हो with your limited understanding के landslides क्यों होते हैं. Fine. So this is very open-ended answer. ऐसा कोई right या wrong answer नहीं है. The approach has to be right. आपको बताना है सिर्फ in simple words. How formation of the slopes does not help in stopping the landslides. That is what. एप्लीकेशन यही है कि फ्री स्क्रैप पे सबसे ज्यादा वेदरिंग है बस कॉन्वेक्स और कॉन्क्यूर सरफेस पे सबसे ज्यादा वेदरिंग है वो हमें आइडिया दे देगा रिगार्डिंग डिफरेंट एलिमेंट्स ऑफ द स्लोप बट इट डज नॉट टेल यू हाउ टू मैनेज द स्लोप्स हाउ टू मैनेज द स्लोप्स कुछ नहीं है किसमें आपको सिर्फ ओवरव्यू होना चाहिए कि स्लोप एनालिसिस के कौन से कौन से तीन मेजर थियरीज है वो थियरीज क्या बताती है रिगार्डिंग द इवोल्यूशन ऑफ द स्लोप्स हाउ द स्लोप्स हैव इवॉल्व बाय टू डिफरेंट अप्रोचेस वो थियरी यही बताती है कि मैक्सिमम इरोशन एंड वेदरिंग टेक्स ऑन द फ्री स्क्रैप in the upper segment of the slope but it does not take how much when the weathering will or erosion will occur what will be the rate of weathering and erosion they do not talk about the factors that affect the landslide fir next part the factors that affect the landslide and are more important in the slope management are steepness applicable in the theories vegetation cover not applicable overgrazing not applicable 
road and construction and mining industry and artificial stiffening of the slopes not applicable. So, these are the important factors. Joby landslide ke hai, what are the causes of the landslide and thus we can say these theories do not talk about slope management and hence they have limited application. Kuch theory mein jana hi nahi hai. Imagine yaha se river is starting. It is coming down. then it is going and mixing in the sea. In the second case also the river is starting, coming downwards. And then it is going and mixing in the sea. Kya farak hai first case mein and second case mein? Slope is smooth, dusra? Kis mein? Upar niche hai slope. That is Aki answer is ka. We a case my slope is smooth, dusre is the slope is rough. Or there are unconformities. Yeah, there are disuniformity of the slope. So the second slope jo hum kar rahe, this is what is known as a graded profile. That is the work of any agent of erosion is to remove the uniform ununiformities or disconformity or roughness of a landform and make it smooth so this is what is the graded profile graded profile means smooth so our topic erosion surfaces talks about how the graded profile is made by different agents of erosion this topic is a part of a subtopic which is known as Denudation chronology. Chronology means order, sequence, time. Kiska? Denudation means weathering ka. That means denudation chronology and erosion surfaces have been inspired by which theorist? Davis ya Peng? Yeah, King. Davis. Chronology means time. Time means Davis. So it is an outcome of Davisian. How the landforms have evolved over the period of time. After the division chronology, we will start directly not with the denudation chronology, we will start with the erosion surfaces because denudation chronology ke saath hum kal channel morphology kare. Fine? So, in the denudation chronology or in the erosion surfaces, the profile has to be smooth or in other words, it has to be graded. This profile is also graded. Graded profile does not mean ki river is in the youthful stage, ka river becomes old age. Graded profile means right from youth till the old, the profile of a river has to be very, very smooth. Youthful stage may also there has to be smooth, there has to be very less waterfalls, rapids. Mature stage may river has to be going through a smooth surface and old age may also it has to go through a smooth surface. Why I am stressing on this? Because we will come to the graded, graded feature of a river that yeah this river is graded etc. in the Himalayas. So confusion nahi hona chahi. Himalayas mein kaise kya river graded ho sakti hai. Because there is a misconception ki grade matlab flat. Gradation of the river means flat. It does not mean flat. It means a smooth profile. And when you study the graded profile of a river from top to bottom and uske andar kya kya differences hai? This is ideal, this is reality, fine? So why there is a difference between ideal and reality? That is why you find maybe rapids and waterfalls here, why you find meanders here, why you find deltas there, usko aap naam doge, channel morphology, tino topics related hai. Erosion surfaces, fine? 
ki how many erosion surfaces are there denudation chronology youth mature and old age and according to devis who what is the most important agent of erosion river so river flows through channel and isili we have again our syllabus channel morphology tank khatam king khatam ab aage ke teen char lecture sirf devis fine so tell me how many erosion surfaces are there matlab they are the they are the surfaces that are formed at the end stage of entire cycle of erosion youth ke baad mature mature ke baad old age unka naam dusron ne dusra dusra diya hai so how many erosion surfaces are there one is peneplain very easy topic this is kyunki aapko ab sab pata hai uske bare mein other is peneplain third is pan plain fourth is end drop डोंट गेट वरीड कि इतने सारे कैसे हम पढ़ेंगे बहुत आसान है आपको ये सिर्फ इसका फीचर लिखना है और कैसे बनता है सो यू ऑलरेडी नो इट इज अ कॉन्वेक्स ऑफ कॉन के हैविंग लो आइसोलेटेड रेसिडल हिल्स नोन एज मोन एंड नॉक्स फाइल हाउ इट इज फॉर्म इट इज फॉर्म ड्यू टू वर्टिकल डाउन कटिंग इट इज कॉन्वेक्स ऑफ कॉन के सर्फेस विच इज मेड फॉर शार्प पॉइंटेड हिल्स may have which may have a free scrap which is known as inselbergs how they are formed by the parallel retreat ye non serious player hai abhi tak upsc ne pucha nahi hai isko kyunki iski theory has been rejected by each and everyone at least king ko koi accept to karta hai but his theory has been rejected by everyone that is pan plain of crick may fine and lastly end round kiska hai tank parallel retreat slope replacement convex or concave having pointed no free scrap pointed hills known as inselber peneplain is caused due to rapid upliftment rapid upliftment different rate of upliftment and erosion fine exhumed surfaces ye ek alag concept hai any surface that goes is destroyed it goes below the sea and due to the regression of the sea या ड्यू टू लोअरिंग ऑफ द सी लेवल वो सर्फेस अगर रिफ्लेक्ट हो जाता है उसको आप कहेंगे एक्ज्यूम्ड सर्फेस फाइन सिर्फ पता होना चाहिए अभी तक क्वेश्चन नहीं आया है जनरली यहां से क्वेश्चन जो आता है इट कम्स फ्रॉम एक बार पेने प्लेन पैन प्लेन पेडी प्लेन सब कुछ बन गया उसके बाद फिर से अपलिफ्टमेंट हुआ था लैंड विल बिकम यंग and on the peneplain which is having the features of old there will be one more feature of young means the peneplain will be more cut that is question yahan se aata hai सर दिस इज कॉमनली आस्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन जो बचे हुए हैं आने के विच यू शुड प्रिपेयर इज कंपेरिजन बिटवीन पेनी प्लेन एंड पेडी प्लेन पेडी प्लेन एंड एंड कोई भी टॉपिक उठाने से पहले लुक एट व्हाट इज द सब टॉपिक्स ऑफ दैट टॉपिक ओपन द पास्ट ईयर क्वेश्चन देखो कैसे क्वेश्चन पूछे हैं एंड एनालाइज करो कैसे क्वेश्चन आ सकते हैं
can someone tell me what are the features of polycyclic relief? Tell me if you are comfortable with this name. There is already a valley that has been formed by the river. River becomes old. Then after the upliftment, the river becomes young again. Erosion capacity increases. So river will cut vertical down cutting and valley ke andar there will be valley. Getting it? The shape of a river channel is example of a meander. This is a meander. Meandering is a feature that is associated with the old age. Fine? Old age may river will engage in deposition and this is how the river will is flowing. It is depositing. Uska volume bohat zada hai. But some landform becomes young again. That is river ka erosion capacity will increase. Isliye because river ka erosion capacity increases, depth of the landform will increase. River ka pani niche jayega, uska volume will decrease because depth has increased. And meanders ke andar wo fir se kaatne lagegi. So meanders ke andar ek fir se, depending upon how the river is flowing, ek aise meander ban sakta hai inside a meander. So when a meander is formed inside a meander, it is known as entrenched or incised meanders. You will understand this all. Peneplain is always nearer to the sea level. But when peneplain is on the level, pe, then it is known as an uplifted peneplain. Abhi the question is directly put hai, what are the features of the polycyclic relief? What are the features that are associated with the landforms associated with the second cycle of erosion? As a general push the te, teen char sal pehle push hai, what write a short note of on entrenched and incised meanders. Basic concepts hoi hai. Sif kya ho raha hai? From 2010, jo bade concepts hai, uske andar ke chote concepts pe they are asking the short notes. Instead of macro, they are going at micro level. So erosion surfaces, erosion surfaces, Erosion surfaces, erosion surfaces and denudation chronology, erosion surfaces and denudation chronology represent, represent an extension of, an extension of, represent an extension of Davisian cycle of erosion, Davisian cycle of erosion, in which the landforms, in which the landforms undergo cyclical development in which the landforms undergo cyclical development. From youth to the old age. From youth to old age. By studying the denudation chronology, 
by studying the denudation chronology an attempt is made an attempt is made to understand to understand earth's history earth's history the ab ye ek general understanding understood what are this exam mein aana chahiye aisa zaruri nahi hai exam mein kahan se aa sakta hai erosion surfaces sabse pehle erosion surfaces why you study chronology dekho ab मैं तो सिर्फ इतना लिखा रहा हूं वेन वी विल अगेन मीट आफ्टर सम टाइम जब आपका बाद में एक टेस्ट होगा फुल लेंथ टेस्ट उसमें इफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज देयर आई विल आस्क यू टू राइट समथिंग एल्स हु सेड जोग्राफी इज क्रोनोलॉजिकल साइंस हम बोल्ड कांट या रिटर जोग्राफी इज कोरोलॉजिकल जोग्राफी इज क्रोनोलॉजिकल देर वॉज कैंट हु सेड हिस्ट्री एंड जोग्राफी में इतना ही देर आर ओनली टू बेसिक साइंसेस दैट इज हिस्ट्री एंड जोग्राफी द ओनली डिफरेंस बिटवीन हिस्ट्री एंड जोग्राफी इज हिस्ट्री इज डिस्क्रिप्टिव जोग्राफी इज क्रोनोलॉजिकल फाइन सो वेन यू डिस्क्राइब एनी इवेंट इन अ प्रॉपर मैनर इन द स्पेस यहाँ पे ऐसे हुआ यहाँ पे कुरुक्षेत्र की बैटल हुई यहाँ पे ये हुआ दैट इज a history when you describe anything ki ha sabse pehle ye conditions the uske baad ye conditions hue uske baad 70s mein ye hua uske baad ye battles hui uske baad ye impact hua that is geography ab ye kant ki understanding thi hamari nahi hai hame to dono history lagta hai fine so generally when we make a time scale ki ha pehle 1857 ka revolt hua uske baad uske baad then congress ka formation hua then uske baad there were moderates then extremists then gandhi aaye yes and uske baad independence mila this is chronology that is history fine so when you list something in a chronological manner that is history when you describe something in a chronological manner that is present is key to the past is geography as per kant and ritter fine kant ka then follower ritter humboldt and ritter were the two main geographers from the from the pre classical era we'll come to that so tab introduction of the answer should be you will realize this ki denudation chronology you are describing the past so your answer should either start with ritter or humboldt or kant getting it so this is what is known as value addition later on while doing the mains erosion surfaces gilbert you name of gilbert should come erosion surfaces means gilbert should come gilbert defined the erosion surfaces gilbert defined the erosion surfaces as the surfaces that are caused as the surfaces that are formed that are formed by the process of by the process of planation planation किसी की हाइट कम कर देना बाय द प्रोसेस ऑफ प्लेनेशन और इरोशन प्लेनेशन और इरोशन 
गिलब्लट ने यूज किया था वर्ड प्लेनेशन ब्रिटिश जोग्राफर्स यूज द वर्ड इरोशन अमेरिकन जोग्राफर्स यूज द वर्ड प्लेनेशन फाइन गिलबर्ट वॉज अमेरिकन बाय द प्रोसेस ऑफ प्लेनेशन और इरोशन एंड एंड आर द एंड प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द साइकिल ऑफ इरोशन and our end product of the cycle of erosion end product of the cycle of erosion end product of the cycle of erosion this planation surfaces this planation surfaces are studied are studied as a part of as a part of attempt to reconstruct as a part of an attempt to reconstruct geomorphic attempt to reconstruct geomorphic history of a region geomorphic history of a region with with the approach that present is key to the past with the approach that present is key to the past with an approach that present is key to the past this method of landform study this method of landform study study is known as denudation chronology is known as denudation chronology is known as denudation chronology understanding what is denudation chronology exam may you can directly start from here erosion surfaces denudation chronology the erosion surfaces next paragraph pe the erosion surfaces the erosion surfaces are an outcome of are an outcome of different agents of erosion different agents and processes of erosion outcome of different agents and the processes of erosion and they can be classified into they can be classified into peneplain they can be classified into peneplain pediplain plains of plains of marine denudation plains of marine denudation end rump end rump exhumed surfaces exhumed surfaces and last glacial and periglacial erosion surfaces glacial and peri glacial erosion surfaces glacial and periglacial erosion surfaces प्लेन्स ऑफ मरीन डेन्यूडेशन सिर्फ इंट्रोडक्शन में लिखना है सिलेबस में नहीं है 
वेरी ग्लेशियल इरोजन सर्फेस सिलेबस में नहीं है नहीं करना है फाइन Tell me what you are going to write in this. Keywords. Konse konse honi chahiye. Keywords in this. They, this concept was given by W. M. Davis. Kaise bante hai? Vertical down cutting. Unki characteristics kya hai? Rounded, convex or concave. What is the thickness of sediments on them? ये भी तो एक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स है तीन वर्ड्स थोड़ी हम लिखेंगे 250 वर्ड्स के आंसर में व्हाट इज द थिकनेस ऑफ द सेडिमेंट्स ऑन देम थिक और लेस सेडिमेंट कवर पेने प्लेन पे हाई सेडिमेंट कवर और लेस सेडिमेंट कवर व्हाट विल बी ऑन द प्लेन्स द सेडिमेंट कवर विल बी हाई मोस्ट ऑफ द सेडिमेंट्स विल बी कोर्स या फाइन फाइन बिकॉज कोर सेडिमेंट तो ऊपर है फाइन Will it be near the base level, near the sea level? Yes. Not necessary. Fine, ये catch है. Ideally, as per Davis, every peneplain should be near the sea level because the sea level is the base level. But not all the peneplains are near the base level. So based on this, there are three kinds of peneplains: local, base level. Uplifted peneplain, second cycle of erosion, and the normal peneplain. What is the local base level or local peneplain? Don't write anything. First, try to understand. This is uh, my landform. The landform is made up of two different types of rocks. This is a sedimentary rock, and this is a metamorphic rock. This metamorphic rock, which has been formed, such as granite, which is crystalline, is highly resistant to marine or to water erosion. Ye hai sea level. Right? This is the sea level. This is the landform which has been uplifted. A river is flowing on this landform, and the river which is flowing on this landform will obviously do because it is in the youthful stage. It will flow with great speed, and it is going to erode the landform more. But because it is going to erode the landform more, the structure of the landform will determine the intensity of erosion. Ideally, every Davisca peneplain should be found near the base level. But in reality, structure plays a more dominant control than time. So what do we see is a limestone wala landform is eroded much much greater, while this landform may not be eroded that greater so ultimately ye landform will be converted into flat and this landform will be converted into flat but the problem will be this landform jahan se river is starting will be at a greater height as compared to the landform which is made, made up of sedimentary rock why this landform is at a greater height this landform is at a greater height because this was the maximum capacity of the river as compared to the structure of the rocks usse zyada river cannot erode so isko hum kahenge local peneplain peneplain means base kya hai base depends upon the structure isko hum kahenge universal peneplain because it is near the sea level that is the base level fine iska example पेनिसुलर प्लाटो इसका एग्जाम्पल प्लेन्स ये जो मैंने डायग्राम बनाया दिस इज ऑफ रिवर कावेरी रिवर कावेरी स्टार्ट फ्रॉम कर्नाटक इरोड्स पेनिसुलर प्लाटो एंड इरोड्स द प्लेन्स बट द तमिलनाडु प्लेन्स हैव गॉट इरोडेड एट मच मच ग्रेटर स्पीड एज कम्पेयर टू द प्लेन्स ऑफ द कर्नाटक so karnataka ka landform also becomes flat but it is not flat it is up and down because it is made up of the 
हार्ड रॉक एंड यहाँ पे दिस बिकम्स नियर द सी लेवल सो हम कहते हैं कर्नाटका प्लाटू एंड तमिलनाडु प्लेन्स एंड जो बीच में है जहां से रिवर कावेरी जम्स फ्रॉम प्लाटू टू द प्लेन्स इज द फेमस और इट कैन बी डिपेंड करता है एरिया वाइज और इट कैन बी जो आजकल न्यूज में है मेट्रोल डैम फाइन इट इज द दिस इज हाउ पेनेप्लेन वाला अप्रोच दैट मीन्स पेनेप्लेन इज बेस्ड ऑन द बेस्ट लेवल इसलिए पास्ट में यूपीएससी ने आपको क्वेश्चन पूछा है व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट बेस लेवल्स व्हाट इज व्हाट यू मीन बाय बेस लेवल एंड व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट बेस लेवल्स बिकॉज बेस लेवल इज सेंट्रल टू द पेनेप्लेन का कंसेप्ट ऑफ डेविस गेटिंग इट क्वेश्चन जनरली डेविस से आएंगे सो दिस इज वॉट इज द बेस लेवल सो जैसे आप पढ़ोगे इमेजिन कि आपने सिर्फ पेनेप्लेन पढ़ के गए बेस लेवल आपको पता ही नहीं है बट फिर भी आप आंसर लिख सकते हो बिकॉज ऐसे जो बाउंसर क्वेश्चन है वो जनरली टेन मार्क्स के लिए आते हैं इन शॉर्ट नोट्स मीन्स यू हैव टू कंपल्सरी अटेंड देम एंड सेकेंडली यू डोंट हैव टू राइट मच सो इंस्टेड ऑफ पेने प्लेन निकालो आंसर में से पेने प्लेन एंड सिर्फ सब्सटीट्यूटेड बाय द बेस लेवल सो देर आर थ्री डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ बेस लेवल लोकल बेस लेवल ग्रैंड बेस लेवल अपलिफ्टेड बेस लेवल फाइन आंसर सेम है गेटिंग इट The only difference is base level का concept दिया था पॉवेल ने who was guru of Davis. Then criticism की पेनेप्लेन है कि नहीं वर्ल्ड में this is how our approach will be. So पेनेप्लेन्स की वर्ड ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है rather than concepts. Concepts you already know, focus on the की वर्ड Pene plane is an almost featureless plane. Underline the word featureless plane. Almost featureless plane, which is found in, which is found in the. final stage of the fluvial cycle of erosion which is found in the final stage of the fluvial cycle of erosion which is found in the final stage of the fluvial cycle of erosion getting it next point the concept of peneplain the concept of peneplain was given by was given by major powell p o w e l l was given by major powell and dutton d u w t o n and dutton मतलब डेविस ओरिजिनेट डेविस की आइडिया नहीं है पेनेप्लेन की हु इज द गिवर ऑफ पेनेप्लेन वाला कंसेप्ट पॉवेल एंड डटन सिर्फ इतना याद रखना पॉवेल ऑल्सो गिव द कंसेप्ट ऑफ बेस लेवल ऑब्वियसली जिसने डिफाइन किया पेनेप्लेन को व्हाट इज अ पेनेप्लेन वो बताएगा बेस लेवल क्या है बिकॉज इन दैट डेफिनेशन पेनेप्लेन इज द प्लेन विच टेल्स अबाउट द मैक्सिम इरोजन दैट कैन बी डन टू द बेस लेवल सो लोग उसको पूछेंगे वॉट डू मीन बाय बेस लेवल गेटिंग इट दैट इज वाई आई सेड यू कैन सब्सटीट्यूट द आंसर रिमूव पेनेप्लेन एंड गिव द बेस लेवल नेक्स्ट डेविस डेविस Davis gave the clear definition of a peneplain. Give the clear definition of a peneplain. Full stop. According to Powell and Davis. According to Powell and Davis. 
अलग अलग टाइम में एक साथ नहीं अकॉर्डिंग टू पॉवेल एंड डेविस पेनेप्लेन इज जनरली फाउंड नियर द बेस लेवल ऑफ इरोजन पेनेप्लेन इज जनरली फाउंड बिलो नियर द बेस लेवल ऑफ इरोजन जनरली फाउंड नियर द बेस लेवल ऑफ इरोजन ऑन फुल स्टॉप बेस लेवल ऑफ इरोजन बेस लेवल ऑफ इरोजन इज द लेवल बेस लेवल ऑफ इरोजन इज द लेवल बिलो विच बिलो विच ड्राई रीजन्स कैनॉट बी इरोडेड बिलो विच ड्राई लैंड कैनॉट बी इरोडेड ड्राई लैंड कैनॉट बी इरोडेड रीड द डेफिनेशन ऑफ अ बेस लेवल क्या है below which the dry lands cannot be eroded dry lands does not means desert dry land means land which is on the continent wet land below the sea wali land will be in geomorphology land below the sea level there are two kind times land which is below the sea level land which is above the sea level jiske upar hum abhi rahe and this land is known as a dry land don't confuse this concept with environment and ecology ka dry land and wet land wo totally alag hai fine dry land agriculture and wet land agriculture wet land management wo alag hai ramsar convention wala there is a dry land and you can no agent of erosion can reduce her land below the seema ka level or below the sea fine characteristics characteristics tell me whether i am right or wrong then then only right can i say the first characteristics of a peneplain is it is a flat land very near to the sea level peneplain is a flat no it is convexo concave fine that is the first characteristics peneplain is not a flat land peneplain is not a flat surface but convex so concave but convex so concave convex so concave area of gentle relief area of gentle relief of gentle slope right gentle relief ya gentle slope convex or concave area of gentle relief or slope kuch bhi ek likho if you read the books books mein ek paragraph hai pane plane pe upsc puchhegi 150 words mein हाउ टू एन लार्ज बुक्स में डेफिनेशन दिया होता है पेने प्लेन में इट्स अ नियर रिलीफ इट इज हैविंग अ कॉन्वेक्स और कॉन्केव सर्फेस नियर रिलीफ नियर बेस लेवल नियर जेंटल फाइन कॉन्वेक्स और कॉन्केव मीन्स वन पार्ट इज कॉन्केव द अदर पार्ट इज कॉन्वेक्स कॉन्केव कॉन्वेक्स सो वॉट इज दिस कॉन्वेक्स पार्ट कैन आई से हिल जिसको डेविस कहेगा Monadnocks, but can we say कि बाकी का region is nothing but river का valley. So can we say कि this is the region in which water divides or hills are gently low, while river valleys are very wide. Fine, getting it? Understand the meaning of pene plain. You know what is the meaning of plain? What do you mean by plain? Flat. what do you mean by word pene kuch soch ke to naam diya hoga pene plain aise thodi hai ki usko pasand aaya naam pene plain isliye de diya pene means almost in latin language pene plain almost flat but not totally flat 
it's a latin word pene is a latin word which means almost so second feature of a pene plane this almost flat surface this almost flat surface has wide valleys has wide valleys separated by separated by separated by low narrow low narrow hills or water divides water divides low narrow hills or water divides third kya hai or feature of a peneplain thoda socho you already know the answer That is more and Knox. क्या फ्लो होता है ऑन द पेने प्लेन ग्लेशियर और रिवर 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 की स्ट्रेंथ ज्यादा है या कम है कम है अगर कम है तो क्या इज द मेन वर्क ऑफ रिवर इरोजन और डिपोजिशन दैट इज द थर्ड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ अ पेने प्लेन फाइन थर्ड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स एज द एनर्जी एज द एनर्जी available is less as the energy available is less due to broad gentle valleys due to broad gentle relief due to broad gentle relief the rivers mainly engage in the rivers mainly engage in deposition and sediment transportation sediment transportation sediment transportation full stop but there is no vertical erosion but there is no vertical erosion but there is no vertical erosion and the last point according to davis according to davis peneplain is near end product near end product near end product and not the end product of cycle of erosion and not the end product of cycle of erosion yaad rakhna ye key point davis ka peneplain can be further made flat will be at the end of a peneplain ka cycle there will be only flat relief like great plains of india so it is the near end product not the final stage final se ek pehle tank ka peneplain is the end product they ye hai farak between davis and tank in the peneplain versus peneplain fine formation next subheading formation tell me how they are formed hmm? vertical down cutting so can you write a statement ek hi statement mein pura hame formation batana hai peneplain is formed in the youthful stage because vertical down cutting dominates valleys are there is a slope decline over the period the slope is flattened 
by lateral erosion. End drum. End drum. क्योंकि पेंक की साइकिल इसलिए कंप्लीट नहीं है बिकॉज पेंक की साइकिल में कभी भी एंड ड्रम कैन बी अपलिफ्टेड वो कहता ही है ना लैंडफॉर्म इज एन आउटकम कोई भी साइकिल जिसमें अपलिफ्टमेंट खत्म नहीं है वो कंप्लीट नहीं है व्हाट डज डेविस से अपलिफ्टमेंट स्टॉप्स व्हाट डज द पेंक से अपलिफ्टमेंट में डिक्लाइन अपलिफ्टमेंट नेवर स्टॉप्स so obviously there can be upliftment any time in the penka cycle and therefore penka cycle will never be complete devis ke cycle mein ek bar upliftment stop ho gaya to uske baad upliftment nahi hoga isliye cycle complete ho jayegi isliye to maine kaha denudation chronology devis ka part hai denudation chronology ka hum jo portion padhne wale hai wo hai polycyclic relief second cycle of erosion second cycle of erosion penk mein nahi hai it is only in devis बस पेंक की साइकिल कभी कंप्लीट नहीं हो सकती वो कहेगा क्यों नहीं हो सकती इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन एंडोजेनेटिक एंड एक्सोजेनेटिक फोर्सेस इफ एंडोजेनेटिक फोर्सेस आर डोमिनेटिंग फिर से द लैंडफॉर्म विल बी अपलिफ्टेड फाइन सो फॉर्मेशन फॉर्मेशन इनिशियली इनिशियली a uh, uplifted landmass uplifted landmass experiences experiences vertical down cutting vertical down cutting resulting in deepening of river valleys resulting in deepening of river valleys full stop in the later stage lateral erosion lateral erosion eliminates most of the water divides lateral erosion eliminates most of the water divides lateral erosion eliminates most of the water divide full stop thus vertical erosion comma lateral erosion causes lowering of the land causes lowering of the land till the time rivers till the time rivers reach there till the time rivers reach there till the time rivers reach their base level base level giving rise to giving rise to an almost flat peneplain almost flat peneplain puri devis ki cycle hai isme vertical erosion lateral erosion and peneplain likhne ki zarurat nahi se pair diagram draw kar lo
way I'm back. Test click नहीं है क्या बच्चों को? हाँ? ये क्लास खाली नहीं है? क्लास छोड़नी पड़ेगी मनु? मैं क्यों जल्दी छोड़ूँ? See clear means depending upon the question किसको ज़्यादा importance देना है question नहीं पूछा है formation of the plane plane अगर formation of the plane plane पे आता है question you have to just write Davis a theory but here, if the question is on the peneplain, you don't have to waste time in the formation of a peneplain. Types of peneplain. किसकी हाइट ज्यादा है जम्मू की या कश्मीर की कश्मीर कश्मीर इज अ माउंटेन या वैली वैली इज इट फ्लैट यस ऑलमोस्ट फ्लैट एग्जैक्टली फ्लैट नहीं कश्मीर इज अ वैली कश्मीर इज नॉट अ हिल स्टेशन श्रीनगर इज नॉट अ हिल स्टेशन यू गो टू श्रीनगर वैली उसमें इट बिहेव लाइक हिल स्टेशन बिकॉज इट इज इन द टेम्परेट लैटीट्यूड इट इज एट अ ग्रेटर हाइट वाई द हाइट ऑफ कश्मीर इज सो ग्रेट because that is the maximum capacity jahan tak river jhelum can erode river jhelum cannot erode the land below that height isliye us jagah pe kashmir valley ban gayi kya hai ye local peneplain don't write anything kiski height zyada hai great plains ki near the sea level or peninsula or plateau ki which is more nearer to the sea level. Great Plains. Peninsular Plateau is at a greater height. Word Plateau may flat land at a greater height. Q, oldest rock, they, have, they cannot be easily destroyed by all the rivers combined. Regional Peneplain. What is the difference between local and regional? It's area wise. Micro and macro. And then large scale Peneplains. That is the types of the Peneplains. So Peneplains, local Peneplain. It is a portion of a landmass. It is a portion of a landmass at local level. At a at a local level, below which below which below which the landmass cannot be eroded. Below which the landmass cannot be eroded. Such local peneplains, such local peneplains are found, such local peneplains are found at many places in a large geomorphic unit, in many places at a large geomorphic unit. in a large geomorphic unit
एग्जाम्पल श्रीनगर वैली एग्जाम्पल श्रीनगर वैली सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल रांची प्लाटू इस छोटा नागपुर प्लाटू पार्ट ऑफ पेनिसुलर प्लाटू अगर छोटा नागपुर प्लाटू इज एट अ ग्रेटर हाइट बट इज फ्लैट सो क्या है रीजनल पेनेप्लेन या लोकल पेनेप्लेन छोटा नागपुर प्लाटू इट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ एंटायर ह्यूज पेनेप्लेन दैट इज पेनिसुलर प्लाटू रीजनल पेनेप्लेन बट ये उसका एक छोटा पार्ट है सो इट बिकम्स लोकल व्हाट रांची प्लाटू रांची प्लाटू मतलब छोटा नागपुर प्लाटू का एक पार्ट छोटा नागपुर प्लाटू इज डिवाइडेड इनटू टू पार्ट्स हजारीबाग प्लाटू एंड रांची प्लाटू इट्स इज शोइंग बाय क्रॉस एंड बाय लाइन्स की रॉक्स आर डिफरेंट इसलिए हाइट इज डिफरेंट getting it up imagine the rivers which are there have you finished drawing this patland kya hai second cycle of erosion mein samajh mein aayega suppose the river now erodes this entire land and is land ko yahan tak le aate aur ye land erode ho gayi so it is a flat land fine but this flat land is not near the sea level so isko hum kahenge regional peneplain getting it local regional and then the grand peneplain which is obviously not very possible agar aise hota to entire world would have been very very flat so regional peneplain 
it represents the second stage it represents the second stage of the formation of peneplain it represents the second stage of the formation of the peneplain in which several local peneplain in which several local peneplain combined to form combined to form a large regional peneplain a large regional peneplain regional peneplain is not a true peneplain regional peneplain is not a true peneplain because many places because 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 it is not near the sea level because it is not near the sea level and has the regions of higher relief and has the regions of higher relief in the inland regions has the regions of higher relief in the inlands in the inlands in the inland higher relief in the inland the slope of such local peneplain slope of such local peneplain is towards the sea is towards the sea slope of such regional peneplain is towards the sea the slope of such regional peneplain is towards the sea resistant rocks which have not been eroded resistant rocks which have not been eroded forms low lying hills forms low lying hills forms low lying hills example of a regional peneplain peninsula plateau peninsula plateau dekho just no need of drawing this diagram exam mein kar sakte ho to karo ya koi zarurat nahi arabian sea west coastal plains western ghats cross the western ghats slope goes towards the east kuch kuch hills hai for example eastern ghats yahan pe because these are the resistant rock which has not been eroded and uske baad aata hai east coastal plains and bay of bengal so this is an cross sectional view of the peninsular plateau isliye koi bhi river which originates in india flows to the east and gs mein hum karte hai peninsular plateau is sloping towards the east why old age jitna hai utna kam slope jitna young hai utna higher slopes that is why godavari krishna kaveri all move towards the east so this is what is the
when we'll call entire peninsular plateau as east as a true peneplain jab ye pura erode hoke ek level pe ban jayega possible hai nahi isliye ye hai criticism of davis ki itni crustal stability hai nahi ki the entire peninsular plateau will be eroded just make sure that you are showing showing this side as a very gently sloping aisa nahi to hill lagega it has to be elongated and gently sloping mountain nahi lagna chahiye पड़ा भी होगा प्रिलिम्स के लिए बाई ईस्ट फ्लोइंग रिवर्स फ्लो टू द ईस्ट या पेनिन्सुलर प्लाटू स्लोप्स टू द ईस्ट सो इट इज एन रीजनल पेनेप्लेन एंड रीजनल पेनेप्लेन का हमेशा वन कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स इज इट स्लोप्स टूवर्ड्स द सी व्हिच इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सी ऑफ बेंगाल इन द टर्म्स ऑफ साइकिल ऑफ इरोशन फाइन नेक्स्ट अपलिफ्टेड पेनेप्लेन वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू स्टडी इट नाउ अपलिफ्टेड पेनेप्लेन वहां पर लिखना रेफर Hmm? कोई भी ट्रू पेने प्लेन कभी नहीं हो इसमें क्या है देखो दिस इज अ लोकल पेने प्लेन फ्लैट सरफेस दिस इज अ रीजनल पेने प्लेन दिस कैन ऑल्सो बी अ लोकल पेने प्लेन ट्रू पेने प्लेन इज एंटायर लैंडफॉर्म इज नियर द ग्राउंड कोई भी ट्रू पेने प्लेन नहीं है वर्ल्ड में वर्ल्ड में देर इज नो ट्रू पेने प्लेन एक्सेप्ट एप्लेशियंस यूएसए जहां डेविस ने थियरी दी थी दैट इज द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एन ट्रू पेने प्लेन slope gentle and very near to the base level if anything is not near the base level there can be local peneplains near the base level but they are not true peneplains peneplain is a very wide area fine <coughs> next uplifted peneplains wahan pe likhna refer second cycle of erosion refer second cycle of erosion that is our next topic right so these are the three types of peneplains we'll continue tomorrow then